Hi everyone, in this video we're going to review Jack. Let's take a look at Jack's stats real quick. Jack's got the health of 13,101, damage of 6,737, very low. The health is okay, speed is also slow at 85, really slow. And in passive we have the bloodlust which means that Jack gets cooldown reduction and damage reduction while smelling a low health target nearby. Finn has something like this too which is cool and the active is that Jack howls granting speed and damage bonus to himself and nearby allies. Dinner's on. Whatever that means. And the primal instinct is called taste for red which means if Jack kills an opponent while this howl is active the skill will reset its duration lasting longer. Alright so basically his active just gets a little bit longer. That's all there is to it. Now, uh, in terms of our upgrades, we're right now at level 17. We can upgrade all the way up to closer to 18. Obviously, we can do all of these items right now, but uh, I've decided that we're not going to be spending a lot of money on Jack because Jack is not that great of a character. The special, the active is really, really pretty much useless. In only situation that it works, as you'll see, is when Jack is alone by himself. Um, because it really gets Jack stuck in one place and it reveals his location. So Jack is actually a pretty terrible character um, and that's why I'm not interested in upgrading him anymore. The items we have unlocked are Molotov Bomb, the Toolkit, Vampire Teeth, Holy Sandals. We do have a bunch of others too but they're lower level so I kind of keep these high level ones on. Jungle Boots could really be useful for Jack especially because his active adds speed. If you have his active on plus the jungle boots, he's like flash really fast. All right, his weapons are a bomb, which is a rolling bomb. Then his bow is a rapid fire bow, which is his nicest weapon, the machine gun bow. And then we have a spear that's a 360 swing. So like a weird combination of medium distance and close range weapons. Uh, but you know, because he's a runner, so if he's uh, running fast, he can quickly get close to people and unleash some of these attacks and the rolling bomb plus this uh, 360 swing of the spear really come in handy and obviously the machine gun arrows are great when they're close range. In his skins we've got the regular old Jack which I don't like that much, his head is too big. This is my favorite Jack Anubis which I believe is in my opinion is the best skin in all of Zuba. Uh, Jack Anubis, the coolest looking skin there is. We're gonna equip that. Then we have this silly Granny Jack skin, which I don't know why they have. Uh, I don't like it very much. Uncle Jack, and a play on Uncle Sam there uh, for 4th of July, maybe. And then this is a cool one too Night Defender Jack. I like that one. It's a Batman Jack kind of uh, look going on here, a superhero look. So anyway, we don't have that unlocked, but this Jack Anubis, I stand by it, is the best skin. So let's go ahead and give Jack a, a gameplay, and we're going to play solo. We're going to give it a battle, and we only have 972 trophies, so I don't imagine we'll have a lot of stiff competition, which is helpful because uh, Jack is terrible, right? So like right now, if I were to start with the active because I want to quickly go around, I have to hide somewhere. But there's no hiding because that purple ring around you is kind of showing you where Jack is. And the speed uh, gain is really, really significant. And, you know, it, he's one of the characters where speed, you actually see the speed gain. All right, but then it runs out, that red little circle at the top, uh, or a hexagon, whatever it was, is uh, showing you when it runs out. I wasn't really looking at that, Larry, because I was looking at that circle. But anyway... Here's what we have. The health is decent, like an average health for most characters, which is not great, but um, it, it's, it's pretty normal health for most characters. Uh, for our range, for our bow and arrow, this is what we've got. All right. With our 360, this is what we have. Very usual, nothing nothing unusual there. For the rolling bomb, kind of like Zax right there. All right, not, not super long range, but decent range enough. All right, there you go. So that's Jack for you. Now, again, you want to have to turn this on every five seconds, but you know, you have to wait till it's fully loaded. Then you get the run uh, for, a, for the longest uh, possible time. But here's what happens if you start moving Jack 
before he's fully charged up. So let me just say like we're charging him up, right? So uh, let's say we started charging him and uh, opponents came and I have to move. When I move, well, however much I was able to charge is all I get, right? So you don't really fully get the effect. You only get a partial effect when, when that happens. So you have to constantly stop, fill up the whole thing, wait for it, and then now you can run. And not to mention that when you're doing this, others can hear you and they can see you that you're doing this. So people will, you know, run away from Jack if they're gonna run away from Jack. All right, we got a couple of lucky kills here. Okay. Okay, let me get that. Let me get that. Oh gosh, now I'm gonna die here. Come on, Jack. Right now is not the time, man. So, anyway, that's where we are. Again, I have to stop now. Build. Oh, no, but somebody's coming, so I can't really do that. Right, there you go. I have to stop again, get this. Meanwhile, now I'm setting ducks. There you go. Seeing you in level 9 can come and attack me from a distance. And, you know, right now, this was not that big of a deal because it was just a level 9 Nyx and I'm a level 17. So, you know, I've gained some health here. It's not that bad for me. But, like, you can imagine in a, in a tougher match, in a bigger match, with bigger opponents, you, you don't have time to be doing this. You don't have time to stop turn this thing on make loud noises howling noises and have this purple ring around you you know you don't have time for this so that's the problem here with jack and i can't even there you go finally got a kill all right so uh really not a great special and that kind of ruins everything with jack you know Let's get this health kit. Okay. They were probably AFK. But that's Jack for you. Alright. Not much. We're going to play a uh, team game. And see what it's like to kind of, you know, get everybody charged up. Give everybody some speed and attack boost or whatever. And let's see what our team is. We got a Betsy and Earl. And we've got Jack. So again, you know, at the very beginning, um, there's really no tip here because you, you want to quickly get to the weapons and and pick up all the weapons. So you don't want to really stop and charge up Jack and wait five seconds or whatever it is, kind of you know, get your weapons going. But there you go. So this is what happens. Everybody has to come in the circle with you, max out, and then we we can try to catch somebody like you know this fuzzy. There you go. Okay, level four. What are we getting these really low level people for? Okay. So, whoa, whoa, whoa. We got a level 15, though. And where's our team? So, the speed does last quite a bit, I can see. I feel like this is uh, different. It wasn't like that always. But the speed does last you quite a bit. I do need health, so I'm going to kill this guard. I'm really not going to... Uh, look for my team right now because we do need this health. All right, let's get everything going. We do have a decent team. Oh, and I'm dead too. There you go. That's how quickly Jack can die. An event match. Let's see how that goes. Usually you have a higher competition in that match and maybe it'll put Jack to the test there. Now I have to say I'm also not very good with Jack because I don't I don't like his playing dynamics. I don't like this whole active. I think it's really really useless um, because you really can't. You know, you you, you I think it would have been so much better if I just tapped it and I got the the full effect. But the fact that I have to wait just ruins it. It, it just is in a real game with real com com you know competition with uh, more dangerous players players who are level 14 15 and above you're not gonna last you're not gonna have the time to you know wait around and load up your special and 
you know, everyone can see. Look, his his purple circle can even is even observable outside of the igloo, or this like ice ring thing or whatever it is. Right, so everybody can tell that Jack is doing this, and and it's you know it's not not great. All right, we got another one. We got a golden bomb. Kind of just bullied that uh, Duke over there because I knew he was such a low-level character. He wasn't going to be able to really hurt me that much. So, you know, I took advantage of that. Uh, there you go. The toolkit item does come in handy a little bit. I got my armor. This little Larry is coming around. Oh, that's a nice dash back, my friend. He had good reflexes. That was great. Alright, let's see what else we got going on here. We only have three kills. We should have like 30 given that we're like the highest level character on this map. But, as you can see, the weapons are good. I think a shotgun would have been better. The 360 degree spear swing is a useless character, uh, you know, thing for me. I feel like you have to have, you have to get very close to actually really make it work. And if you're not this close, then it's just a waste of a weapon. So already there's a limitation. Oh my god, I missed. How did I miss so much? Alright, we can do that. I can't even get this back. And I'm supposed to be fast. Why did this Zack try to do that? Don't you see what is <laughs> my character level? I don't understand why people do that. I guess I respect it because you're 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 playing the game the way you want to play. It. That's cool. But you know you gotta play smart too. Can't just... There you go. I can't. I can't really fight with this Iris, but you know. I knew I was a higher level character. I was going to be able to survive her. He was very low. But anyway, so that's Jack for you. I'm not impressed at all. The skin is the best part of Jack for me. Besides the skin, this skin, the Jack Anubis skin. I don't really like the gameplay. Uh, the active, they failed on the active. The active is stupid. And then the primal instinct on top of that only improves the active a little bit. Slightly. So the primal instinct is a waste. The active is a waste in my opinion. And the 360... Um, spear is unnecessary for this character um, but I see what they were trying to do because he's he, he gains speed so he's supposed to be able to get into close combat situations and that's where that is handy but it doesn't really work very well with Jack because the other weapons are a little bit mid-range so the bomb goes a little bit farther the machine gun arrows go a little bit farther but then you have this 360 degree spear like what's the point of that you know it doesn't make a lot of sense uh, but in some ways, it does make sense. So let us know what you think about Jack. I definitely do not recommend Jack. I'm not going to be upgrading Jack any more beyond this. Uh, so that's my take on it. Until next time, peace.